So I just have a couple of minutes in between my calls and I like to get some sun when I can. It's nice and sunny so I sit here, get some sun on my back. I don't have a balcony unfortunately but I can get some sun here. And I just wanted to share a little bit of wisdom with you. Something that I was talking about in my previous client call. Uh, something that I've learned myself and has made a profound difference in trying to trying to find healing for more chronic more chronic health problems so the di so as you can see in the description the title of this video the diff what we're looking at here is the difference between trying to solve a health problem and taking care of a symptom and the difference here is one is based in masculine energy and the other is based in feminine energy. Trying to solve something is very directional. It's very, let's just get to the end. Let's, so this is where we're at and then we want to get to this, this other point in time. We want to get, we want to make progress. It's very directional. It's very, it's very masculine. It has a very masculine energy towards it. And this can, this, I mean, this obviously works for, this works really well for acute health problems. So for example, if you break your leg, you want that, that is a problem that you want solved. You know, get to the accident and emergency, get to A&E, get to the hospital and get your leg reset and put it in a cast and get, get it that care and attention, like fix, fix that, that's a problem that needs to be solved. But when we're looking at a more chronic health problem, a more, a more long-term thing, Often it doesn't need to be solved. It's not something that needs to be fixed. And going into it with this mentality, it actually perpetuates it, makes it worse, and isn't going to give you the results that you're looking for. So instead, what we can do is adopt an approach that is more based in feminine energy. And instead of trying to solve the problem, we want to take care of the symptom. So think about, you, you most iconically see this in when you have these these dynamics between men, men and women. You know, men primarily use language to convey a point, to communicate. So again, it's directional. It's, I'm going to say this to convey meaning. Versus when women communicate, they're communicating for the sake of, of communication, for the experience of being able to communicate with someone. And obviously, obviously men have feminine energy and and women have masculine energy. But I'm using this as an example because you'll probably be able to most easily identify this. So if you think about when, so you've got a relationship, this is like the age old problem. You're in a relationship, the woman wants to talk to the man about her bad day, and the man is immediately trying to provide solutions to the things that she's talking about. She doesn't want a solution. She just wants to be hurt. She wants to be experienced. She wants to be able to have a place to be experienced and to feel her emotions. And it's possible that with chronic health problems, these chronic symptoms, this is what they actually need. They don't need to be solved. They're not a problem that needs to be fixed. When your when your wife, when your when your when your woman, when your partner is approaching you and they want to talk to you about how they're feeling, you don't need to fix how they're feeling. You need to take care of them. And if you can adopt the same kind of approach with a chronic health problem, with a with a chronic symptom, you can actually get where you want to go. You can actually find relief from that symptom you can find resolution you can find improvement in that symptom but not because that's what you're trying to do so if you go into it and you're trying to take care of it to solve it you're still doing it in that masculine energy perspective it doesn't work if you actually are genuinely trying to take care of it so if you have this chronic health problem this chronic symptom and you adopt the mentality of instead of this is broken and needs to be fixed, you see this is a symptom, this is a part of me that needs to be taken care of. If you take care of it, if you are attuned to it and you can take care of it in the way that it needs to be taken care of, it will not bother you as a symptom anymore. I guarantee it. I see it myself, I see it with my clients, I see it over and over and over again. This is the difference between a masculine energy and a feminine energy approach. And it's not that one is better than the other, it's that you need to solve a masculine problem with masculine energy, you need to solve a feminine problem with feminine energy. You, the, the, it just doesn't work. You can't do it the other way. One isn't better, one isn't worse. They're just different. That's just the world that we live in. That's just the universe that we inhabit. That is how, that is how it works. So if you've tried solving the problem, if you've been working with specialists, practitioners, going with these different symptoms and you're trying to solve them and they never get solved, maybe they aren't supposed to be solved. Maybe they're supposed to be taken care of. And if you need to figure out how you can take care of these things, 
I'd be really happy to help you figure out how you can do that. So just reach out and let me know. That's everything for me today. I'll see you soon.